All right guys, so another day, another business. And this business is actually one of my favorites because it's something that all of us guys can actually relate to. And it's actually a barber shop. Ever since I was a kid, I've been going to barber shops. And I've always thought about it, like for example, like how much does it actually cost to actually start a barber shop, to actually get people there, to actually work for you. And by the way, have you ever noticed that there's like this unspoken of like loyalty program in a barber shop? For example, like the only time I've ever changed barbers is like when I literally moved from like country to country or location to location. Like never else. Like I've had the same barbershop now since I've been in this spot for like four or five years now. And before that, I had the same barbershop. I had the same barber for around 12 years. So it's pretty much crazy. Like there's this loyalty program within a barbershop that once it's established, it like it's impossible to get broken. So that's something that I like about this business also. So today we're going to talk about how to start a barbershop, but not just how to start a barbershop, of course, but actually the startup cost of starting a barbershop the expenses, the profits, and also the challenges that a person might face when it comes to starting a barbershop. And you can tell, guys, that I'm very excited about this video because this is something I'm actually very interested in, not like all these other apps. Like, I was getting tired of doing that routine. But let's get right into it, right? So now the startup cost for this business is a little bit more like, uh, like kind of weird, you know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of ways to actually go about it, and there's multiple ways with multiple benefits, right? So here's the first thing that I actually want to talk about, right? There's a way to actually buy a barbershop that's already like fully furnished already like has the entire location established and it's basically like this right say for example my name is tommy this other person's name is um say miguel right miguel has this barbershop he's been there for 15 years and now he's ready to retire so he tells me well tommy i'm trying to sell this barbershop and i say miguel awesome how can i buy it from you he tells me well tommy i'm selling it for sixty-five thousand dollars, and usually it can range between 10 all the way to $150,000, depending on the barbershop, depending on the employees, and depending on the whole business and location and everything like that. And here's why it costs so much money, right? Because Miguel worked for 15 years building the location. He has all the materials, all the chairs, all the employees, all the business, everything intact. And all you literally have to do is come in, buy it from him, and then negotiate the lease with the, loan, with the landowner, and then pay the deposit or whatever, and then you're in the spot, but everything is already running. The only thing that's different is you. You're the new component, and it might be something like, oh my gosh, it's a, guy, a new guy, he's a new boss, blah, 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 but if you know how to deal with people and you know how to manage people, like you'll get along just fine. So that's one way of actually buying a barbershop that's fully furnished. Now, the second way of actually buying, and by the way, the startup cost of doing it like that is like between 10 to literally $150,000, depending on how much money you're willing to spend and how much money you're actually willing to negotiate with that person, depending on the location of the barbershop. Now, the second way to actually do this, you're probably thinking about this already, right? It's actually just like renting a place and actually putting a barbershop in there and actually establishing it yourself. Now, you're probably telling me, Tommy, this would be a better idea because guess what? I only have to pay the rent deposit, maybe like $2,000 for three months, that's $6,000, and then plus like all the materials. By the way, each chair, for like a barbershop, it's between $400 all the way up to $1,000, even $1,200, even $3,000, $4,000, $5,000, depending on how fancy you want to be. So in this case, right, since you want to start your own barbershop, here's the thing, right? So in this case, since you want to start your own barbershop and you actually want to do everything from the beginning, let's talk about it, right? And let's do the math because you guys know I like to do the math. So you're starting a new location. You're, the rent is going to be like maybe $2,000. You're actually going to have to pay a six, uh, like a three-month um, a three month deposit, so that's times three. Well, six thousand dollars, right? So that's the out of pocket cost. Now you have to buy the chairs. Depending on how large the location is, I'm I'm assuming that if you live in New York and you're paying two thousand dollars, maybe the location can only fit like maybe like let's say eight chairs, maybe six chairs. I'm being generous when I say eight chairs, right? Eight chairs, the average chair, and by the way, all the information is down in the description below, so you don't have to go on Google and search all the stuff. I always make sure I do this for your convenience. And each chair is around four hundred and seventy five dollars plus shipping is like a hundred dollars, right? So let's say five hundred and seventy five per chair times 575 per chair and oh yeah so it's six times 575 that's three thousand four hundred and fifty dollars on the chairs right you're probably telling me all right guy all right tommy that's about it right well no remember the six thousand dollars i told you about that you're actually doing and remember that you have to want to put mirrors everywhere you're gonna have to put floor in you have to put like seats you're gonna put fans you're gonna put lights and all this fancy stuff so let's just add another ten twenty thousand dollars let's do 20 right so let's add like no like ten thousand dollars just for mirrors and stuff like no it's not gonna be that expensive let's say fifteen thousand dollars right $15,000, so the cost comes out to be $24,000, right? It means that you're saving around $60,000 or all the way up to $110,000 if you're not like buying it from somebody else. Now, here's how this might not be the best idea. It's because your location isn't established. And by the way, 
Barbershops are very competitive. That's like a barbershop on every single block and they've been there for years. So you might start this barbershop and no one will go to you because in a customer's mentality, you go to people that you already know and you're already established with and you actually like trust. Cause like a hair and hairstyles are very like, like something like you hold on to as a, as a guy, you know what I'm saying? So you don't want to just cut your hair anywhere. So that might be the issue. The most challenging thing is actually establishing the spot and actually beginning to like build a customer base. And that's really it. So startup costs can be between 60 maybe 20, 10,000, all the way up to 150,000, even more, depending on where you want to buy it. And if you if you want to start your own, then maybe it's like $25,000, but you have to put a lot of work into it. Honestly, I don't recommend it. Now, the second thing we're going to talk about, as in my list in my hand, is expenses. Now, you're probably telling me, Tommy, what are the expenses to this business, right? There are a lot of expenses, actually, and there are a lot of profits, actually. But let's talk about the expenses because it's one of the most important focal points in this video. So now, for the expenses, you're going to pay rent utilities, business tax, commissions, dependent, and also maintenance. And maintenance is like basically like having an employee that's around. Let's take out the calculator, by the way, right? So maintenance is having like an employee around that picks up the trash, picks up all the hair, and make sure that everything smells good, every, the bathrooms are clean and everything like that. And by the way, remember this, right? I hate to say this, but like, remember, this is like a cash business, right? So you actually don't pay people like, oh my gosh, like so much money and all these like benefits and all this blah, blah, blah thing. It's a cash business. So you can hire a mom like across the street or whatever and pay her maybe like $400 a month, right? So that's like $400 a month on an employee. So actually keep everything clean. Let's say $500. Let's be, let's say $1,000, right? Let's be generous, right? $1,000 a month. And then let's say like utilities, like we got internet, we got water, we got internet, we got cable, we got light. I know I said all that stuff already. Okay. Let's say that's like around a thousand bucks extra, right? No, it's going to be much more. I think let's just say a thousand dollars, right? A thousand dollars extra. Utility, okay, so we got the employees and we got the utility, it's a thousand, a thousand, right? And we said that the rent was gonna be two thousand, right? So plus two thousand. So the rent is around four thousand dollars. So all the expenses put together, they're around four thousand dollars. Let's bump it up to like three, let's say four, like four thousand three hundred, like including the tax and stuff like that, right? If you want to save up for the tax to put it in quarterly, right? So let's bump it up by three hundred. So this is expenses, right? $4,300. It's not that much. And I know what you think. It's not that much. And it really isn't. But now let's talk about, oh, by the way, you also have to include um, trash pickups because you have to, have to pay trash. You have to actually have to pay trash companies to actually pick up the trash because you're a business. So let's add like another 50 bucks a month or whatever. So that's $4,350. It's not that bad, right? Not that bad. Not that bad. Now let's talk about the profits. So save that number in your head or write it down somewhere. I'm personally going to write it down. So that's $4,350 for the expenses it's in my hand. And if you're wondering why I never put it like on the screen and all this fancy stuff is because the last thing I want to do is get copyrighted for using anything because apparently everybody thinks everything looks like them, right? So let's talk about it. So like that's $4,350 for the expenses, right? Now, here's where it gets a little tricky for the profits, right? There's two ways to actually collect profits from a barbershop. Now you have employees, right? But they're not really employees. It's like having like an Uber, right? Uber has employees, but they're not really employees. They work on a 1099. It means that they're self-employed and they do whatever they want to do. And there's contract and they choose a service. So in reality, you have a barbershop and then barbers come in and they use the location to actually perform their jobs. What does this mean, Tommy? It means that if I want to be a barber, I can go there. I can rent out. It's like kind of, it's kind of called like a like a sublease, but it's not really a sublease, right? So a sublease is like when you rent something out like of a specific space, like you just rent out a small portion to someone and then they're responsible for anything that happens in that small portion. So for example, right? I'm a barber. I want to be a barber. I go to the barber shop and I say, Hey, I want to be a barber. I'm tired of saying barber. And can you rent out this space for me? Right. And they say, okay, I'm going to rent you this chair. So the chair, they're going to rent it for you between, by the way, in New York it's between $220 to $150 if you're just starting out. So if you're a beginner and it's your first time, they're going to charge you like $150. Why? Because you're just starting out and you actually may, and you actually need to make a client base. Once you start making your clients, you start cutting hair, you start getting friendly with people and you have your clients to bump it up to 220. Now let's do the math, right? So if you're just starting out and you can only fit like eight people, like eight chairs in this location, like we said before, let's do eight times 150. That's 1,200 a month, right? I mean a week. We times that by four and that's $4,800 in profits. Now, what does this mean, Tommy? It means that after you minus everything, that's, let me see. Yeah, right? So after you minus, after you minus all the expenses, which is um, 4350 now you just made a profit of 450 right? We divide that by four. 
that means that your total profit is like around $112 every single week. Now you're probably telling me, Tommy, are you BSing me? Are you telling me that I'm gonna invest so much money and I'm gonna just only earn like $100 a week? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that because you're just starting out, it is gonna work like that. I remember guys, every single business has a period when it's just growing in the beginning. So that first year is gonna be your establishing year, but after that, you're actually gonna make much more money. And let's do the math, right? It takes the average barber like maybe like a month, maybe like three months, maybe six months, depending to actually get established. Tommy, how do you know the statistics? Well, because the average barber wants to be making money because if they don't make money, then they don't eat and they can't pay rent. So they're not gonna be there, oh my gosh, I'm just gonna pretend like I'm not cutting hair so then not a, the fee doesn't go up. No, that's gonna be working their ass off because it depends on their livelihood also. So after, you have eight chairs, remember, right? So we have eight chairs. After those um six months or whatever, like three months, you bump it up to, um, you bump it up to 220, right? So 220 times eight, that's 1760 times four, and we minus the we minus four thousand three hundred and fifty. That means that you're making two thousand six hundred and ninety dollars divided by four. You made six hundred and seventy two dollars every single week, pure profit. That's not that bad. And this is what I'm saying, right? I'm saying all these costs and all this stuff, right? But these are basically like me just estimating things. And whenever I estimate anything, by the way, it's not really estimates because I know people that own barbershops and I ask them all these questions. But these are estimates in a way of like a startup. So you can actually create your own barbershop, do the entire thing, buy a barbershop, by the way. Don't do the entire thing like that. I don't recommend it because you actually have a hard time like creating the client base. And if you think $350 a month is bad, imagine how much you're going to make if you're just like starting out and you have no clients. That's going to be even worse. So my main thing is this right? You can eventually figure out how to lower your expenses, lower your costs and lower everything and create a platform. Well, not a platform, like a good barbershop that you can lower the cost and you can make more money and more profits and $600, almost $700. That's not that bad. I know people out there that they gross like $4,000 a month after everything. But imagine this, right? Imagine that instead, imagine that instead of, um, eight chairs, you could fit 14 chairs in that place, right? 14 chairs and each person is paying you $220. Well, guess what? You're making $3,080 every single month times four. I say times four to get the month, right? And that's $12,000 a month in gross profits. And here's the thing, right? When you get to a location like this, you're not going to be paying $2,000. Instead, you're going to be paying $4,000 in rent, maybe $5,000. So let's minus $4,000 for rent. And then the other like $2,800 for the other expenses. You're still making $5,000 divided by four. That's a, like $1,380 a week. That's not that bad. And here's my thing, right? You open a first barbershop and this is all passive income, all passive income. Why is it passive income, Tommy? Because you don't actually need to work there. You're just literally going every single week and you're collecting the money from those barbers that are working their ass off. And you, if you want, you can actually work in the barbershop and you yourself can earn money by the way. And if you're asking me, Tommy, by the way, I'm running out of time here. And if you're asking me, Tommy, how in the hell can I charge a barber $220, right? Every single week. And how are they going to make that much money? Well, here's the thing, buddy. $220, right? Divided by 20 bucks, the average haircut is 20 bucks, right? That's only 11 haircuts. Divided by seven, that's only one and a half haircuts a day. The average barber like cuts like four or five haircuts, like like haircuts, not haircuts. The average barber cuts like, like five to six people every single day. So let's say six people every single day, and let's just be generous to say everything is like 15 bucks times 15 times seven, they're making $630. So minus your 220 and times it by four, they're still making their money. And I'm being generous here. On Fridays, I've seen barbers like cut like 15 people, like it's nothing. So guys, I believe myself that this is a very good business to start. And I, might, my, I myself might get into this business. And by the way, there are a lot of little sub businesses that you can put into this business. Like for example, a gumbo machine in the, in the, in the store, you can put like a... Uh, uh, a vending machine, like with the sodas and, and snacks. There's a lot of little things you can do, and you can even create like a like a sublease, like I told you, in the back to actually do like um like money orders or anything like that. So there's a lot of little things you can actually do to innovate the entire thing. But this is just a standard video, and if you want more details, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment because I have more videos on the way. I'll see you guys next time, and thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, any other business that you actually want me to do because I'm getting bored. I'm getting bored, bro, and if I get bored, I'm gonna stop.
I'm gonna stop, but keep commenting because the more ideas I have, the more videos I can make, and I make a video every single day. So you're, it's not gonna be a shortage of videos as long as I got ideas. So I'll see you guys next time on the next video, and peace. You've got to start at the bottom if you ever gonna